Oops. Let's try that again. I almost thought I heard Bainey, but he's not there. Uh, okay, this time at least it's opening. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Muted. But the question is, is there transcoding? There's still no transcoding. I don't think I want to bounce it a third time or a second time or stop again. I'm kind of disappointed because I was, I've been having it with Hollow Knight, but that's a little later in the evening. So maybe that plays a part in the transcoding, but it is what it is. We'll get started. And, uh, to do that, all I'm going to send out a quick discord as well as a quick tweet. And of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. Or if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash MSLP. Hey Amethyst. Hey Shu. Hey Ray. I'm a little bit irritated. I just, I bounced the stream one time to try and get transcoding and it didn't work. I've never, I've never had bouncing the stream work to get me transcoding, but people say it works, but some people say it takes like five or six times to do it. And I don't think I have that much patience to stop and start the stream repeatedly to try and, I mean, I would love to have for you guys to have quality options if you need them, but like, I just don't want to be restarting quite that many times, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, son. Um. Oops. Oh, goodness. Buttons. <laughs> yeah, no, I, st I mean, I stream at 72060, but if you get transcoding, then that's when, as a viewer, like, if you're on limited data or your internet isn't that good, you can click and you can select, like, lower quality options, like 480p or something like that. Hey, yo. Hey, KJD. As soon as you get your coffee. I'm still finishing off my tea, so I have water also, but I uh I already know what I'm doing. This was the other polish that we almost did last time, but then we ended up going with the purple, and I was like, it would be really simple to just choose that to put on. Since I just want to stick with something simple for today. I had two different instincts. Like at first I almost was like, you know what? I want to do something really complicated today. And I was like, you know what? No, I don't. <laughs> this is really not very, very sturdy today, is it? There. <laughs> Torn on your next Manny. Like you have more than one thing you want to do. Or like you don't know what you want to do at all. I mean, it sounds like a good distraction if nothing else, son. Hey, Gidge. <laughs> well, you know, I really, uh, I, you know, I haven't been doing a ton of online shopping lately, but I have been you know, ordering a few things online and shipping has seemed to be like, it seems like to me, like shipping mostly seems to, to be back to normal, at least if it's, you know, not like international or something like that. So maybe sometime next week, we might have something to play with. Um, and maybe that something will water marble. And I think a lot of you know what I may be thinking of. <laughs> Sparkly teal. I love teal and purple. You know, you need to do something different. Why, if you want to wear sparkly teal and purple for 10 weeks in a row, Amethyst, fucking, you go right ahead and do so. Hey, Entropy. <clears throat> Well, either you got to find one that's the same but bigger, or you got to make your own, or you got to accept that you're not going to have it, 
or you gotta fit into it can you fit your arms in you could just wear it without a zipper or is it like a hoodie with no zipper i hate those i can't do it i need to be able to no Yeah, they always sell singles usually. Well, I mean, so far, they've always sold singles in addition to, like, the uh, the collector box. Congrats, Gidge. Okay. Let's, uh, while I'm just sitting here, jibba jabbering. That was kind of loud. Um, let's do, let's do some cuticles because I didn't do cuticles really very much attention. My nails have been naked since, what is today? Today is Wednesday since Monday. And maybe I'm crazy, but they don't seem quite as stained as they were. Like the, they're still atrocious, but I don't think they're quite as stained as they were. I need to reset this. It's it's very wiggly, and I apologize, you guys. Hopefully, if I can just get it in like a nice little spot, it'll chill out. There's got to be red, son. It's a rainbow collection. I mean, oh, is this how is this thing low on batteries? Oh, it's only twelve percent. Hold on just a second. Might as well just plug it in right now since I'm just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, more orange than than yellow like before. It's like some of the some of the the greenish tone has faded a little bit. I don't know. It's interesting. I have two theories. One is that like when you paint them again, like polishes that don't stain almost like suck stains out i don't know if that makes any sense another is just that it's i'm getting used to it yeah being naked for just a couple days i don't recommend it it's a bad idea usually i break a nail we didn't break a nail this time which is wonderful i feel like i don't know like the camera's not quite where i want it do you guys want to be a little closer or are you good I mean, son, haven't you seen the, I I keep seeing people that are like, you know, uh, what, what's, what's the, like a sleuth. What's another word for a sleuth? I don't, I don't think I quite want to say sleuthing. Maybe I do want to say sleuthing. Anyway, people been investigating in her videos and uncaught her on more than one occasion with a rainbow hollow gradient. So, I mean, given her past little shenanigans and sneakiness, I think it's pretty, pretty fair to say that we've probably already seen at least some prototypes for the collection. And they look phenomenal, of course, like juicy colors. Hey, Miss Zild. Welcome. Yeah, exactly, Ray Ray. Found me through Altertay. Oh, cool. Um, I would not say that liquid latex is a must for beginners. I mean, it's nice if you're doing like messier nail art techniques, like, uh, like sponging gradients or stuff like that, where you're more likely to get polish all around your nail. But just for like, if you don't feel confident with your painting skills, as, as we'll be demonstrating once my cuticles are done, like something like this that you can just use as a cleanup brush, um, like around the edges. I would, I would say that and a good quick dry top coat are my number one. Well, they're both number one, like suggestions for people who are new to doing their nails and a good base coat though, too. Like everything else is, I don't want to say unnecessary, but it's like extra. I mean, even back in the day before like latex was widely used, I mean, you can just use tape if you're doing something really messy. I feel like, like nail art can almost be one of those hobbies where you feel perhaps obligated to like dive in, but you don't have to dive in. You can start really, really simple. And that would be 
my my really really beginners recommendations is just good base coat top coat and a good cleanup brush <laughs> oh poor butt spot no no axe to you subscription i i always love it when butt spot actually does get to drop somebody's emotes because because they've been gifted a sub in their chat hmm Mm. Oh, he did show up. Hi, Benny. How you doing? Hello. Yeah, you got a nice little sunny spot. <laughs> I didn't even notice that he showed up. I thought I heard him before, but then he wasn't there. And then I was like, well, whatever. Supposedly. Son, are you skeptical or have you actually used it and had like a bad experience? I mean, some people are allergic to liquid latex. Some people just don't like it. I mean, it's it's definitely on the list of nice to have if you like it, but not required. I wish I could remember also, somebody was asking like how I take care of my cuticles. Well, like this. This is what we got to skip last time on stream because I had already taken care of it off of stream. Hey, you got some pets coming your way, boy. Yeah, who's such a good boy? <laughs> oh, you're shedding, Benny. Like, I literally just pet it off like a pile of fur. <laughs> oh, from Short Round, not from Amethyst. From Short Round, Benny, okay? I swear he looks at me like he understands every word coming out of my mouth. <clears throat> oh, it was you, Shu. Okay, good. I'm glad you're here then. So, like, I, I don't get real real rough. I just, I, like, try to, you know, push back the main part. You don't want to mess too much with the live part. You just want to get the part that's, like, on your nail bed, like a little residue. That That's the cuticle part. Because that'll prevent, like, the base, you know, if that's there, then the base coat can't adhere to your nail. And if I have any, like, actual hangnails or anything. But I try to be very sparing with that. I want to get, I think I'm going to order uh, that glass little cuticle tool that Yo posted in Discord. Um, because I think that looks really cool. Sometimes, too, it's almost like if there's like a little rough spot in my cuticle, I wonder if it almost would be better to like just give it a little, a little filing. The thing with your cuticles is like the rougher you are with them, like they'll fight back at you. They're like, oh. You want to be real harsh with me? Well, I'm going to grow twice as fast. So I try to, I mean, it looks, I know it looks pretty aggressive, but I mean, I try to be pretty gentle with it. And if you have like, you know, a good tool, like so you can use an orange stick. Do I have a clean orange stick? I probably don't. No, they're all so dirty. But like you could use an orange stick, but I just, I feel like that's not optimal for me i love i love this is the biggest one i've ever had uh biggest like cuticle tool and it's my favorite um how long it takes to dry can depend on the formula a lot of mats can dry really fast i mean a good formula you have time to I mean, I don't want to say super, super take your time, but not be rushed. Um, but a lot can depend on the formula. Amber Yeah. I mean, we were talking about, I don't, I don't think Anne is here. I was going to show these. Hey, Karen. I was going to show these, uh, cause Anne was talking about how she didn't like glass files cause they were pretty small. 
which is like i can only see like half of this camera hold on like this is like kind of a regular size glass file it's like you know um i don't really have a regular nail file to compare it to i do have one of these though if you've been to sally's you recognize this and i usually keep this for uh like buffing patches and stuff i very rarely actually buff my nails <clears throat> so for a size comparison but then i got this bad boy and this is just as big as this so i mean it's it's giant compared to the other one and it's really nice and i wish i could tell you guys where to buy it except i got it at the state fair and it was it was a vendor that i don't think has like a website or anything and that i don't even remember their name so <clears throat> I hope I'm not missing too much chat either, you guys. <clears throat> trying not to. Trying to find that, that balance. Yeah, foil polish can dry pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm doing today, Shu. I'm just going to be doing a plain manicure with just this. Well, okay. I'm not sure how much these gold little flakies are going to show up on the nail. So if we don't have enough gold flakies, I may be reserving the right to, to put something on top of it. But the plan is just a plain manicure today. Um, and like, not everybody is into nail art or people aren't into like, I mean, lately things have been pretty low key around here, I'll admit. But I mean, I'll do some pretty, what, what would be a good word, you guys? <laughs> I don't know not like that crazy but like maybe not everybody is comfortable wearing a water marble or wants to spend that much time on their nails but still wants to have their nails done like that's fine oh you mean like just color with no base and top coat yeah that's okay uh like i said before like not optimal just because so i mean how, how do i want to put this like even polishes that claim like oh it's all in one polish like you can't just do that like the factors that make a good base coat are not factors that make a good top coat which is why you know those are two separate products i'm always skeptical of colors that are like oh you, you don't need anything else you know a base coat is intended to to be sticky and keep it on your nails i mean unless you're you know a weirdo and use a peel off base coat like certain streamers that you're watching but a top coat is intended to be well ideally quick dry and also to make things just like extra glossy now if you i mean if you think about things like extra glossy and sticky these are kind of like two they're not you stuff that's glossy and sticky and stuff that's sticky and glossy so you can't have something that's sticky and glossy like it fucking doesn't work that way <clears throat> okay rant rant aside but your your nails like your nails if you do with paper paper will suck the moisture right out of your nails and even just a plain coat of nail polish will protect your nails from that so something is better than nothing but base and top coats are better than just something <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, the big the big one is almost too big for me, honestly. I guess I've kind of gotten used to the smaller ones because I've been switched to glass files for so long. <clears throat> I mean, I'm quite hopeful, Gitch. I mean, I'm never, I don't know. I, I don't know how PR works. I'm not on a lot of PR lists. Like, would I get told if I was removed from the list? <laughs> I don't know. I am i don't know why I would worry about that, but I kind of, you know, I don't know. Such thoughts cross my mind. But otherwise, I certainly hope so. Mm. Uh oh, it's kind of early for that, isn't it, Amethyst? I mean, kind of late for a nap and kind of early for a bedtime. Like, just. 
that perfect time where if you let him continue to sleep he's gonna be wild tonight <laughs> you're welcome Shu. i mean if anybody has any questions particularly when we're just doing like this is not like i mean it's tag nail art but we're not doing any nail art we're just doing a manicure i d I, I need to like look at what I'm doing so that I don't like you know be be a dummy like you know slash myself with my little tool or make mistakes once we get started painting but it's not like anything complicated is going on like with water marbling or anything um there's there's a lot more time for like Q and A is what I'm saying this is this is like a hangout this is if if any of my content would fit under just chatting. It would be plain manicures, but we're not ever going to go in just chatting, I don't think. I have I have such bad, like, connotations with just chatting. Like, it's just got such a weird reputation. Plus, like, that's not the focus of the stream. As, uh, as laid back as it is, the focus is the nails. Oh, you got one. So how late is that? So we've been going for 20 minutes. I, I, is it horrible that I'm like, oh, that's not bad compared to like two hours in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's like there are some things. Uh, I, What is the word for it? Like presumed knowledge, but it's stuff that I don't even think about necessarily. I mean, I try to always like sort of eat just narrate what i'm doing even if i feel like it's stuff that i've said before because i'm like there's always you know different thoughts in my head and different people here to hear them so any piece of information can be useful to a person who doesn't know it yet or even just as a reminder to people who do know it and they're like oh you know what i had kind of forgotten about that i mean not that i think any of you are like oh my god base and top cover for real i forgot but you know in 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 relation to other things yeah i feel like it does gidge not always i mean toby streams and just chatting all the time and he doesn't get that many trolls but i mean he's a dude i don't think it's quite the same because i've definitely seen other like uh people that i would think would stream under like beauty and body art that are in just chatting instead that of course i mean they're larger anyway and i think I, it's not like I feel like being in this category protects me in any kind of way, but. <laughs> but set. Mm. Hey, Athelis. Mm. I hope you're doing well. Oh, wait, is it your first glass file, Athelis? inspired by me <laughs> we were just we were just talking files a minute ago um the thing with glass files so if you don't know like they're generally like they're not all created equal but they're generally like a, a finer grit than you're gonna find in like a generic just like emery board style type of nail file your first good glass file yeah see exactly like i was saying like I've had some, like I saw one at Walgreens one time and I was like, oh, it's cute though. And I like got it and it was like, it just didn't really last. Whereas like good glass files that I've gotten like last for years without, without getting dull. Um, hey, more beanie pets. Oh, you've adjusted. Are you comfy? Who's a comfy boy? <laughs> Get some chin scratches in there. Should chin scratches be a separate reward? <laughs> I just randomly toss in the chin scratches every now and then. I've still got a little bit of the purple on my nails, actually, because I they haven't seen polish remover. I just peeled off the purple. Um, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Oh, hey, a beanie treat from Maggie. Oh, Strimmer knows it. 27k that's not even close 
I mentioned yesterday I wish I could see how close people were so I could just be like, you know, I think it's time to raise the price. Yeah, this is for you. You ready for a treat? Nom, nom, nom. Actually, I better get out a couple more in case there are redemptions once the nail painting begins. See, I, I have the same reaction to like emery boards and stuff. So I'm like, just the sound, like they're so rough. It's like, I can just picture like, like the under the microscope view of the nail and picture like the nail just shattering as these like harsh, chunky sandpaper grit nail files just like rip them apart. Like that's what goes through my body viscerally. If I like see or hear somebody with a regular nail file. Whereas, like, glass nail files are really, like, smooth and, like, I don't know. They're so, they're so much better. Hey, Serenity. Did I say hey, Serenity? I mean, it basically is Gidge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't, uh... I think if if you like glass files, like once you once you get a glass file, like you can't go back to regular glass files. Like if you or regular files, like if you break your glass file, you have to get another glass file. Um, you can't just be like, well, I'll just go back to a regular file. And they're like, no, they're they're too horrible. They're not all bad though, honestly. Like, I make it sound dramatic, but, like, really just, like, the cheap ones are the worst ones. I mean, something like, like this could be considered, like, a regular file. This is actually, like, a buffer, but, like, the blue is, like, a, a nail file sort of a grit, but it's not... I mean, like, you can't see the chunks on the grit. Like, you guys know those emery boards that I'm talking about. Them, like, old-school emery boards that look like somebody just, like, took a strip of cardboard and glued sand on it and decided to sell that to fuck a file your nails with like don't use those like if you're gonna use a regular nail file like please use a nice one <laughs> oh yeah Gonna bite it. Okay. Of course of course he won't actually perform. But you see he's like interested in it. You gonna bite it? Ah you see, did you see that? Ah you can't eat it. <laughs> okay, so it's not just your cats. Beanie would eat mine too. He's another reason that I keep him in the sleeves now. They have like little protective plastic sleeves <laughs> I don't I don't do you care about regular nail files Beanie what do you think about this one <laughs> he doesn't care about this one it's the glass ones it's the glass ones that's kind of that's kind of funny I thought maybe he would try to bite that one too Cause I knew he like, he'll literally like, I'll be sitting here and I'll maybe be touching up my nails a little bit and he'll climb in my lap and start trying to bite the file. Um, I'm probably like very, very off camera here. Sorry. Thumbs, you know, po po little right thumb in particular, which has like a, you hear it? Like, it's not a break. It's just a very deep little chink. I don't know. A chink a chink in the armor plating of my body. Well, nails aren't really armor plating, but... I mean, it's, n it's not a break. It's just... A divot... 
a uh, gouge. No, gouge sounds really bad. I'm filing it just a little bit. Like, I just am trying to make it smooth so it stops being catchy. I'll just have to really, like, make sure to really make sure. Blah, blah, blah. Really make sure to really make sure that uh, I don't skimp on base or top in that area. The plan, the plan is, like, the last couple of days when it's been hot as hell, I've been like, God damn, like, the hair is just like... <clears throat> Uh, of course, I didn't have it up then, like I have it now, like in a ponytail. I just had it like loose, and it was just, it was driving me crazy. So I was like, you know, I kind of would like to put some braids in. So I need to like not have anything that's likely to get a hair caught in it. I think that's okay on the cuticles. They could use, they could use a little bit more attention, to be honest, but I don't have any more attention to give them. <laughs> wait a minute Did, wait all you guys do what oh the little nick i yeah i don't know where it came from I'm like what was i literally just talking about this is streamer brain where you just get in like a flow state <laughs> Oh, that's very, very windy. I actually think I need a little bit more. Mm. <laughs> hey, Anne, we were just, were you here? Were you lurking? Not to like call you out as a lurker, but like we were, li we were just talking about nail files. Where is this opening? Yeah. It's gotta be. Do I have a... Do I have a... I thought there was... A, okay, there is. Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's confirm. Yeah, seven and a half. Good shit. Well, if anybody else is interested, there you go. I'm sure there are various kinds of... Uh, House of Beauty is a pretty good company, though. I've heard of them before. Um, If anybody else wants to get their large, gigantic uh, nail file on. Yeah, they are short. Hmm. Yeah, I saw you posted that, Amethyst. That's, uh... I, it's so weird. I mean, I feel like it's, like, it's early for it to be, like... I, I don't... Is there a win season? Is there such a thing as a win season? I don't know. So, oh! KJD with the 15 months. Thank you so much for the resub and the support. And being here. Yeah, so Anne, well, you probably already know, but like, they're basically the same size. The nail file might actually win it out by like a quarter of an inch. Hmm. <laughs> well you guys I don't know I was going to say you guys just heard the wind here but did you? When I was startled it was the wind that startled me although it's kind of nice because it's at least like I've got a window fan but like sometimes like every day I think I should replace it because it's kind of weak so like a good breeze actually very much helps to get some circulation through here I mean, tor I, tornadoes are different than just wind. Well, I guess they're from wind. I don't know. I, I can't believe we're, like, into June. It's, it's so weird. 
with everything that's been going on that like time is actually still passing at a normal pace yeah it's her yeah hurricane season two jerry just got well he didn't get hit by a hurricane but he lost power from it i think he said the eye of it went over them so the worst of it was to the east but yeah fucking hurricanes dude blah something i can live my whole life without experiencing okay thanks all that stuff is scary i've never even directly been in a tornado although i've had some like near misses oh you've got the uh the audio only going on amethyst gotcha okay we are almost ready to get started okay look all these are startling things everything is startling when you don't expect it who would expect to get attacked by radiance in their own home not me and nobody clipped that shaking my head y'all <laughs> We've had rain like several of the last days and I'm sick of it because I'm like so stiff and sore from it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, straight line winds can do a lot of damage too. You are on mobile. You were paying attention. Shame on all of you guys. You can clip on mobile. No, clipping on mobile is actually like one of the worst things. I, I don't know what they could do to make it better, but there has to be some way they could make it better. Okay, so I'm going to be using Holo Taco Long Lasting Base Coat because it's one of my favorite long lasting base coats. And we're going to be doing like full on wrap technique, which means I'm going to be doing the underside of my nails also, which is a trick that like i i will admit i was initially quite skeptical of but it works so well that uh i i can i cannot deny the proof of having worn a manicure for 12 days with like no chips not that i plan to have this one on that long but there's after after like living with the nervousness that using a peel off base coat brings into your life like to have the luxury of not worrying about your manicure because you're using like a real base coat <laughs> it's so nice break i've never seen breaking bad I, uh, <laughs> there's so many things I could say that about, but yeah, I've never seen it. Mm. So I wonder, I'm really very interested to see how this green applies. I should maybe make a plan for what I'm going to use if it doesn't give me enough gold payoff really amethyst is that thunder or is it like okay i don't know what that's is it just wind it's really loud i don't think you guys can hear it because of the way that the mic is cardioid mm. I mean, I, it feels like that would be an easy mistake to make, son, and a reason to not have either one of those things. Hey, Zuli. You can. If they're shorter, it's actually harder, but you certainly can. I mean, unless there's, like, actually, like, no underside. But even then, you can do the tips. But wrapping is lo easier with longer nails.
I just, I don't, I've never watched that much TV, and now, like, I barely watch TV at all. Because all my time spent on Twitch. <laughs> I mean, not, like, completely true, but, like, yeah. <laughs> as far as, like, entertainment... I'm far more likely, like, 99.9999 to see who's live than to see, like, what what's on TV tonight. Which is only, like, self-perpetuating, I suppose, because once you don't watch TV, then you don't get, like, it's not like, oh, tonight my show's on, like, you would not have a clue what was going on in the show, because you ain't seen no episodes. And then since you don't watch TV, then you don't get imbibed with all the commercials for the next shows that are coming up that you're also not watching. There were a lot of shows when I used to watch more TV where it was like I realized that I knew the whole storyline strictly from like how spoilery the commercials were. <laughs> like, ooh, what's going on this week? Okay, I seen the commercial. I know. I know the story. I know what's going on. <laughs> I mean there's always going to be like an an edge but like the shorter it is like the more it actually literally is just you know I mean if that's right next to your skin there's no there's no way to do it without also touching your skin Yeah for for like I it's not something that I always do but it serves a couple purposes so generally like for a normal manicure i use this to like example i'll just do like the top and then like the side walls and the tip like this part but not the actual underside um but doing the actual underside too it it just it like takes it to the next level it really prevents chipping and it also helps to prevent like the even if even if your nails are fully painted that helps to protect them but they can still, like, absorb water and stuff through the underside, which is, like, not the best thing for nails. So when you paint the underside, you prevent them from absorbing as much water also. Hey, Whimsy. Just, just a plain manicure, but, you know, Twitch refused to add my nail polish tag, so I can't just tag this nail polish. When I initially submitted them, I submitted nail art and nail polish, and they only added nail art. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, like, when you go in the shower, like, usually your nails absorb a lot of water, and, like, your natural C-curve will flatten out a lot. Um... So yeah, it's always good to... Like, it, it's, it's such a weird thing, because you don't want your nails to be too dry or to or to waterlog you want to like find a healthy balance and you know it it's like nails are the simplest little complicated thing ever <laughs> um the color that we're using what is this called rare jade so we've got like this like really nice green with like these gold flecks in it camera camera please okay but i don't know how this gold is going to show up on the nail <laughs> Atlas. i'm gonna blame it on sun <laughs> so this is an example of you know a quote-unquote plain manicure that's like not just like plain because there's lots of you know uh nail polishes that are very interesting just right out the bottle or you know like layering so i'm not going to fully wrap the underside with the color um i'm just going to do the full wrap on the the base and the top but i am wrapping the edge the tip um you know like i, I feel like you know just starting with a manicure is like where you start to get hooked and then you maybe start layering polishes and then you maybe get into a little bit of nail art a little gradient or maybe vinyls or stamping and then 
You continue to get sucked deeper and deeper. Mm. Now, like, it's gel. God, my nails really are just orange. Just ignore that unpainted wet. It's jelly enough that I definitely can still see them on, like, the first coat. I kind of wonder if we're going to need two or three coats. I don't want to have visible nail line because I'm not a fan. Which is. Sometimes people just call it VNL because, you know, abbreviations. Like when you when the pulse is, is so sheer that you can see where my free edge is. Like generally speaking, you want to get to a point where it's opaque and you can't can't see that unless for some reason you're going for that, which. I mean, I guess. Like in some cases, maybe you could pull it off to make it look like a French manicure type of a situation. <laughs> hey, Dino. Yeah. Hello, camera. Camera. I'm interested how the next couple coats are going to look. I like it so far. Like, I feel like it's going to end up closer to the bottle than I expected it to. I haven't seen any of the new DuckTales. Is it like even on regular TV or is it like just on Disney Plus or something? I don't even know. Re, my earlier <laughs> discussion on literally not watching TV anymore. Now, one thing that often stops like people that are new to manicures is painting your off hand. The only way you're going to get better is to practice. Try to like, you know, work at a table, brace your hands, brace your painting hand also. How can I like, I'm like resting this hand also, you know, pretend I have a brush. Um, or, I mean, that's how I do it. Um, this color in particular makes me think of Musical and she does her nails like this, which is what's comfortable for her. So you may try that. It may work for you, but I definitely, like, if you're worried about, you know, working with your offhand, just, like, take it patient and slow. Find ways to brace both of your hands. And sometimes even, like, move your dominant hand around to uh, accommodate the offhand. Like, you kind of saw there, I kind of moved my nail side to side so that I could just basically continue stroking in the same, like you find a way where you can at least get one smooth stroke and then you can just move your nail around like that. And then over time, I mean, it improves. It's pretty easy for me now most of the time but also like if you do like start doing nail art and you can't then that's where decals come in and then you know that you're deep deep into the hole of nail art <laughs> but basically like if you are doing nail art and you don't think you can do it on your offhand you can just make a decal and then stick the decal on <laughs> just just one smooth stroke um yeah I th yeah it's I don't know I feel like this could be one of those colors where it looks like it's okay and then suddenly the next day you look at it and there's no shimmer um you guys know what I'm talking about have you had this experience where it's like I mean quick dry top coat can get a manicure quick dry to the touch really very quickly like dry enough that you can go to bed and not have to worry about sheet marks um but like most polishes still take probably like a at least like 12 hours if not a full day to fully fully like fully fully set and i've had polishes where it's like during that time the glitter just continues and continues to sink down to the nail bed so that by the time it actually is fully dry, like you can't see the glitter. And then when you take it off, all the glitter is like attached to the nail. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I think this is not a unique experience to me. Mm. 
Also, did you guys see my larger bouquet of panties that I picked? And cute. It's so, like, fluffy. I mean, fluffy is maybe not the word, but, like, so fucking cute, dude. Yeah, gotta be careful. Don't want to take up too much Beanie's camera and also don't want to put it like on the edge of the helmer and have it like fall off and spill water everywhere. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're really, they're good. I, I picked more because we had a pretty hard rain yesterday and I was like, a lot of these are going to get wrecked in the storm. So I might as well pick a really big, well, that's, I, I, that's not really big, but compared to the last one I had, which was just a single one. Ikebana? What is that? Is it is it flowers? Is Ikebana like like bouquet making? Am I mangling the word? <laughs> or how badly am I mangling the word? <laughs> Alright, second coat. So like for doing coats of color, like I don't usually wait for them to be dry dry. I'm sure I could probably put fingerprints in this if I were to go for it. I just want it dry enough that when I stroke the next coat over that it's not pulling up the coat under it. The art of Japanese flower arrangement or the Japanese art of flower arrangement? Question mark? Hmm. I, I don't know, but I feel you that probably one of them is more correct. I think we might need a third coat on this. Maybe not. Camera. The the gold is quite subtle. I have mixed feelings on the subtlety. I also have mixed feelings on a third coat and I find myself doing a really possibly thicker than I ought to be doing coat in a possible attempt to not do a third coat. That looks really good. Camera. <laughs> yeah i think i can get away without three coats wait so we've decided that it's the japanese art of flower arrangement is that what i'm reading This is really a glommed on coat. Not something I'd usually recommend. But in this case, it's kind of twofold. It's because it's jelly and it's because it's got the flakies in it. Like applying with a thicker coat. Generally to me. Like you're getting more flakies onto the nail. Um, you know, you guys know what I mean. You got to like scoop them up and then you got to kind of like plop them on. So if you work with like a thicker coat, then it's easier to plop. And I'm trying to keep it fairly neat, but you saw I just went in with a little bit of orange stick. Um, we'll be using the cleanup brush too. But like the orange stick can help just get stuff like while it's still wet and make it easier. Like give you less work to have to do with the uh with the cleanup brush I feel like I've applied this so thickly that I almost need to give it a second to set before I move my hand <laughs> oh yeah the gold like I'm trying to decide if it's too subtle now oh, we got a little tiny black speck of something what is it Can I get this out of here? <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. 
Did it. Did it. Dino. Don't you say it. Don't you say it, Dino. <laughs> she said she said it didn't she okay she waited for son to say it son you're enabling dino <laughs> Okay, I'm just holding my hand kind of flat, and it's weird like this, because also the thumb, like, well, this polish sets. Sometimes, okay. G I started saying this before, and then I didn't finish. Generally, three thin coats is better than two thick coats. Do as I say, not as I do. When you do a thick coat, like, and then you go and, like, start holding the brush in your hands like this, and the gravity just pulls the polish down, and then all of a sudden you look at your nails, and they're lumpy. Like, that's such a bad feeling. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I don't know, son. I don't I don't own a gold flaky hollow. Nobody has made a gold flaky hollow that I'm aware of. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I think we're safe to move on. I hope so. Maybe maybe Christine has that on her to-do list. That's really thick. That's glommy thick. And then it floods your cuticles, and then you're gonna have a bad time. Get it? There we go. Oh, we picked up a beanie here somewhere. Okay. No. This is a horrible orange stick. Why am I using this one? Mmm. I mean, most- it- it depends on the polish, too, shoot. I would say it's most common to just have to do two thin to average coats. But some take three. Like this, like I said, this is kind of what we'd call a jelly, which is a, like a slightly transparent finish. Mm. So this is called an orange stick. Not because it is actually orange, but because they used to be made out of orange wood. I doubt they actually still are. Let me make sure this is not, like, drifting. Um, it's an optional tool, but they're pretty cheap, and they're handy for lots of things. They're hand- I mean, they're- what, one, of, one of the things I often use them for is uh, water marbling, but they're also, like, nice just for cleaning up stuff. I use the pointy end, one, one end's pointy and one end is, I don't know, whatever shape that is, to get that little black dot off. That actually works surprisingly well, and I'm kind of shocked that it did. I was ready to just, like, poke a hole in the manicure and not get the black thing off either, but it actually, like, it worked and it made me look smart, but I just want you guys to know that it was completely a lucky, a lucky impulse to try that and for it to work. Um... But yeah, they're just, they're nice to have. If you Also, if you don't have a cleanup brush, you can take one of these and wrap the end in a little bit of uh, cotton and have your own little cleanup tool. Okay. I need to decide if this is just right or too subtle. Um, I, I kind of feel like it's too subtle. Oh, for... <laughs> okay, you barely can tell. You can see it, though, right? Yeah, right there. That little divot. I, like, barely brushed it. Okay, let's just... <sighs> we'll just take a little... There. Fine. This is fine. 
Top coat will smooth it out. Hey, Ginger. Nine zero. I don't think I have any nine zero. Nice. Now I'm interested. Wait a minute. What is the one gidge linked? Island Peak. Is this too thin for poor little right thumb? I think we need just a little bit more right there. Oh goodness. Okay, hold on. There. Okay, I want to look at the Island P1 first. And then at this 901. I don't think you could use that as a topper. I mean, it's flaky, but it's like, it's, it's, it's like dense. I think that's too dense to use as a topper. Oh, that one. Interesting. You know, I don't like the picture. I wanna, can I, uh, is there not a zoom? Can I zoom? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's how picky I am. I don't like the shapes of the flakies. The 901. Like, I like it. They're... I, like, I wish they were bigger. I wish it was a bigger flaky. I mean, I guess I really can't be that picky since the, the, there aren't that many <laughs> gold flakies to even be picking from. But it feels... It feels like they're too small to appreciate the irregularities of a flaky. Does that make sense? Like, I wish they were bigger. Mm. <sighs> At any rate, I don't have any of those, either of those, and I feel like this is in need of something. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. That's Mary Louisa. Didn't we just have Guilty out not that long ago? Oh, fuck. Oh, what's that? No, that would completely change it. I, I nudged a nail again. God damn it. I'm, I swear. I'm the clumsiest person. Because it's just nail polish and you can fix it. Okay. I... Flashlight. That would be helpful. Okay. Um... Not in that drawer. Mm, not in that drawer. Mm, not in that drawer. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I was trying to be careful. Oh, no! <laughs> You can barely see. Oh, wait. I should just, uh... 
<laughs> Added rhinestone, right, Dino? It's okay. This is fine. I have golden enchantment. I don't... It's not one of my favorites. It adds more of a yellow cast than it adds a hollow. Okay, we got like a... This needs to like just like there's a little ridge there I'm trying to smooth out. Maybe this is not the best tool for that. Hmm. Okay, look. Like it never even happened. No, golden enchantment. Like it's so it's okay for certain things, but it just makes things yellow. It uh I mean it's got some hollow to it too, but it's not a powerful hollow. And it's not a flaky. And I'm not trying to what is this? Like? No. Is this flashlight still on? Yes. Don't check by looking directly into the flashlight. I'm not trying to make this hollow. I'm just trying to make this have more gold. I know what I'm looking for. I just hope I find it. Because I know I had it out and I don't know if I put it away again. Nope. I don't... Where else? Arrgh! Okay, that's... Orally stuff. That's... Other Zoya stuff. Or, or it's in here and I just overlooked it. I'm looking for guilty. Because guilty would just solve everything that's wrong with this. Which is that there's not enough gold flake. Does anybody remember what I had guilty out for? Like, did we actually end up using it? <laughs> it's a quit and turn your head 180 degrees oh just look over here now I don't see it <laughs> Yes. I th okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember what I had it out for, but it was over there. In that box of stuff that we just had out recently and stuff. So, this is Zoya Guilty. Yes, it's actually gold in a nail polish bottle. Can we focus, camera? There we go. Now, I think that Guilty is like a little bit goldier than the gold. That's in this, you know, should we? We should probably test. We should just make sure this is gonna be okay. And I'm not gonna be mad because it's a, like, it's a, it's a slightly warmer gold than the gold that's actually in here. 
see if I can pull like a little thin section and then have like a little slightly thicker section here. Like the, uh, oh, don't go that way. See how it's just like a very, like a, like a light yellow gold? It's actually a really good, that's actually a really good angle. Okay, we're going to give, we're going to give that a second to dry. And while we do that, we're going to do clean up. <laughs> what would music out, music out would have this and be happy. <laughs> no don't don't worry like i just like i said you gotta practice in order to get better whoa so uh this is a brush i got at michael's and we're gonna use this to just clean up around around the very edges and at the cuticle so we have clean edges and clean cuticle I did a pretty good job staying neat <laughs> most of the time. I I used to just like actually not even try to be neat because I just figured I would just clean up the whole thing. And then like I got smart and realized that like I could save myself some work if I just like moderately tried to be neater. So, but this is a technique of, I mean, you can, you can be very messy and this can make it look very polished. Um, if you get a lot of polish actually like beyond just the very like sidewalls and the cuticle area, you can even certainly use uh, a Q-tip. But definitely if you if you feel like you don't paint cleanly i mean i've been painting my nails a long time and i still have a hell of a time trying to actually paint cleanly the, the usually the only time i actually manage to do it and even then sometimes i fuck up is when we're working with gel polish because you don't want to get gel polish on your skin and i don't want to develop a gel allergy because that would kind of suck I don't use it that often, but I would like to continue to have the option to use it. Um, but yeah. So, these aren't like vastly different, but like these. So like, you know, here we got a little polished crust in there, in there, compared to this one that's clean on both sides. Yeah, I have, I mean, I don't, you you can buy acetone by the jug and I don't usually, but I keep just like a regular size bottle full on hand to like have at the desk and not be like toting around the bigger bottle. And then I just have, I think it's very dirty. I think this is maybe supposed to be like a wasabi tray or something. Wow, it's actually really filthy right now. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't show that on camera. You guys will think poorly of me. It actually looks dirtier on camera than it looks in person. That's kind of interesting. No, it really does. Like, it's not that filthy. I, You know what I should do, though? I should clean it out because it's got that... Uh, it's got blue dust in it still. And if I get that on the brush, then I'm going to have that on my skin. In fact, I do have some of it on my skin. Oh, snap. See it right there? On my pinky? See it sparkling that's my own fault. Use clean acetone, boys and girls. Or pay the sparkly consequences. <laughs> now, everybody starts somewhere, Shu. There's not, there's not like shame in being a noob. Like, you can be a noob. It's okay. <laughs> Hey, potato. Um, I used to have a different small dish for my acetone and then it broke. But basically, you you can even just use the cap of the acetone. But I mean, to me, that means that the acetone is then sitting there uncapped. And I mean, you just watched me smudge like three nails in three minutes. Do you think I need an uncapped bottle of acetone on my desk? The answer is no. 
this little small wasabi dish of acetone is is rarely more than I don't know how to quantify that a fifth full probably like not even that much and it always lives on top of a paper towel if if that little thing spills it's definitely not the end of the world if I were to spill a whole bottle of acetone on my desk oh my god oh my god I man that would be such a fucking problem dude my desk all kinds of there's just, there's like so much of everything on my desk I'm just looking at all the stuff that would be flooded. It would probably then drip down and drip on my pretty beautiful keyboard and mouse and eat through them because even though acetone comes in plastic bottles, certain other kinds of plastic it eats, which is fun. My other keyboard, all of the, like all the letters on the keyboard had been like worn away from unfortunate acetone encounters. I've managed to keep my new one pretty nice. I try to remember to just keep the keyboard tray pushed in and, like, be mindful. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I've missed a few things. I think that scrolled off a of screen. <laughs> yeah. I keep kind of forgetting, though, that I need to clean it up because of this blue glitter in there. Because that was, like, several manicures ago. I don't usually bother unless it's, like, super, super dirty. And usually what I'll do... So, as you, as I'm cleaning, obviously I'm using some acetone, and acetone also uh, evaporates pretty quickly. So what I just, the solution is actually like 100% super simple. All I need to do is when the acetone is almost gone, either through use or evaporation, is take these couple of Q-tips that I used to prep my nails in the very beginning and just wipe them with the last of the acetone around the bottom of the dish and it's clean. I just haven't happened to remember to do that lately. Hey Angel, how's it going? I hope you're doing okay. Mm. A B what what is ABS plastic? What does that even mean? What is underneath it here? It's under the mat. Oh well. Um, okay, we need to test this. Okay. So give this a little tumble. The balls are in there. You guys can I can I turn it so that you can see the balls? No, they keep wanting to. Can I just like get them? Well, you you guys know there's balls in the polish. Um, this does tend to settle a lot, and I'm trying to at least get it somewhat distributed. Cause like even when you like distribute it around and then when you like pull it out of the bottle, like you don't get a lot on the brush. Not that I want a lot. I just want Oh yeah. No, that goes. That goes just fine. Yeah? Okay. So, ooh. you see it? Right, camera focus. God damn it. I'm literally incapable of not smudging my nails for two seconds. Yeah, I know he was in surgery for a long time. Hopefully that went well. Surgery is so stressful. I, I do. Uh, when I took my mom last year for her, for her lumpectomy, I mean, that was a short, uh, scheduled procedure. I can't imagine, like, a, a long emergency procedure. Like, I think. You seem like you were handling it pretty well, Angel, but I hope you get some time for, for you stuff, for self-care. Mm. 
Yeah, like, all acetone is going to do is like dry out your cuticles. Maybe make you a little bit chilly because it evaporates so quickly. Acrylonitrile butadiamine styrene. Styrene. Is that why acetone and polish also dissolve styrofoam? Or do those words not actually relate like they sound like they should relate? He's doing better. Good. Good. Mm. Yeah, that was that was the the spooky slash possibly fucked up part that they sent him home and then like yeah. Yeah. Good. But yeah, I mean I'm not a person to say like just sue everybody, but like write him up or something like that so f- <laughs> That's he he I mean that's fucked up. Let let's just leave it at that. Mm. I mean maybe he really thought he was okay and maybe he was just trying to fucking move him along out of his hospital, but I mean I feel like it sounded serious in the first place and it just like sent him home and be like, Oh you're fine and then like okay, like obviously not fine. Like that's <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you use this smiling bunny. <laughs> hmm. okay so this is called guilty like like that get it haha <laughs> guilty um and we're gonna be applying it carefully like i said you kind of gotta almost like scoop around in the bottle try to pick up like a decent amount And then, like, when you apply them on the nail, sometimes it takes, like, a, almost a dabbing sort of motion to get them off the brush. Sometimes they don't want to evenly distribute on the nail. So, we're just going to dab it around until we get, like, some good coverage. Oh, because isn't that so much cooler? Yeah. The answer is yes. That's so much cooler. Mm. Okay. Now we don't want too many. Like it could be very easy to go overboard with these. Like. I want it to still kind of be obvious that there's also like. The under layer of gold ones. Like the ones that are. You know visible through the jelly layers which are becoming increasingly harder to see on camera. Is it because as the drying, the finish is changing or is it because as they're drying, they're sinking? I did do the test. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, it's not exactly the same tone of gold but I'm okay with it. Come on here. Sometimes it's so hard to even just get a couple to stick on the brush for you. Cause see like in the bottle, like I said, those are stuck to the side. You get so much of that on the nail. You really don't, but adding the guilty on top gives you some of those vibes. Not exactly the same. I maybe also could have used, uh, is it M Maria Luisa? Mary Luisa? It's another gold Zoya. I saw it in the drawer while I was looking for guilty. And I almost just grabbed it out because um, a polish in the hand is worth two in the drawer or something. Like sometimes I'm just literally trying to get like one flaky off the brush like onto the nail where I want it to be. Yeah. 
Did you post a picture in Discord, Shu? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I'd love to see. And yes, it's okay. I I could okay. I could tell you this without even without even looking. Yes, it's okay for a first time. Unless you're like some kind of prodigy, nobody's good at something the first time they do it. And I think, like, it's easy to forget that and like have such high expectations of yourself. If you had fun and you liked it and you woo, oh, almost spilled that and you learned something, then it was worth. That's interesting. Like this isn't a clear base, but this actually looks like a slightly lighter yellow or green. I'm thinking maybe it's just because it's still wet, but like compared to the hand where I haven't added any more gold on top of it yet. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, gold flaky's definitely for the win. Doing the shopping cart. I'll definitely have to check it out once I'm done with stream shoe. I'm I'm so glad. And skip Angel, why? <laughs> what kind of a mask? Like a like a don't breathe on me mask or like a Jason mask? Okay, hey, where are my flakies? Please come here, flakies. Mm. Um, we might do some flashlight time. Usually that's more for like hollow or stuff that needs more direct light that's washed out by the ring light. Which I don't think this really falls under, but it might might still be worth. I need, hold on, screw this top back on for a minute, actually upend this thing. I think, like, it's not uncommon for a lot of glitters to have problems with, like, settling, and I'm sure that this is, like, possibly even worse since it's actually, like, actual metal. Oops, that was kind of a big old, big old blob. Okay, we'll go with that. Ooh! Ms. Zid, thank you so much! You're welcome! I'm glad you enjoyed. I, 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 I just, like, I don't know, we, we, seems like we keep talking about this the last couple streams, but I feel like a manicure is such a simple little pleasure. Harmless and easy relatively quick most of the time and i just i love spreading that to people to everybody spread just spread a manicure to the whole world that sounds really really cheesy forget i said that <laughs> i hope you have a great rest of your day A spa mask? Wait a minute. What's uh, the hockey mask? That is the Jason mask. Hey, Waldenheim. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, the gold flaky makes it look like I wanted it to look out of the bottle. Like, honestly. Like, I wanted... I mean, it, it's, a, it's a challenge, because if you make it too jelly then you're never going to get like the color but if you don't make it jelly enough then like the gold the 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 flakies in the polish can actually come through yeah i mean and like the thing to remember is if if you if all goes just horribly and you hate it and you can't look at it and you don't want to leave the house wearing it, it's nail polish. You could you could take it off even faster than you put it on, and that's okay. We've had those days. I've had those days like recently. What what that smooshy marble? We man, that was a, a see. Now again, hold on. Come on, camera focus 
This is the one that's just done and it's wet and it's like slightly yellower and lighter than this one, which is starting to dry more. Like that's not just my eyeballs playing tricks on me, right? Can you guys see that? Or is it too subtle? Am I being too, too polish nerd again? <laughs> <laughs> you could be blackmail. Okay. <laughs> Cleanup is the A number one cheat for like a good manicure. This is also the A number one cheat. Sesh feet. This is my favorite quick dry top coat. I also, there, there's a lot of them out there though. It's not like this is the only good quick dry top coat. This is my favorite. There are others out there. I'm going to give this just another hot second to. You can technically apply it on wet polish, but kind of like what I was talking about before. I want the polish just dry enough so that not just stroking over it makes it like bunch up. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sick of waiting, so I'm just going to try and be very delicate, which I should be able to do because I know I know how to float the polish. Okay, and mental note to self, this is our top coat, so we're also going to be going on the underside again. We went on the underside with the base coat. We just did the, the, the that part, the tip, with the color, and now we're going to be doing a full wrap again. Okay. So we're gonna do it like no, and around the edges and the tip. I tend to do the top, the bottom, and then the tip. You could also do the top, the tip, and then the bottom. I don't know that that really matters. I'm just trying to make sure I've got a good a goodly amount. Okay. Now here's also like an example of Okay, look at look at just these two. Please I mean it's I know it's subtle. They're not the same color right now. The wet one is lighter. The wet one is also glossier and you you know, nicer. So like that's we were talking earlier about like, you know, why top coat? Because like these these look fine. They look cool. They look great. But then you see this and you realize that they're not as perfectly smooth and glossy as they could be. Now, that's not as much of a problem if you're using a polish that doesn't have like flakies in it or stuff like that. But it's it's a similar thing where if you look at the polish without top coat and you look at the polish with top coat, you're like, ooh, top coat, top coat for the win. Thank you, Zuli. Yeah, it's a uh, it's sesh vite. And if somebody wants to exclamation point essentials, like if anybody else has got questions about the stuff that I use, most of my stuff is I you know I should review that list, make sure that it's actually still up to date. But most of the stuff that I that I use is listed in there. Uh, the the exact particular kind of cleanup brush I had back when I could actually read the name off of the handle. Um, sesh Vite. Um, pretty sure we were talking earlier about latex. The latex I use is in there. Because I really do believe that's like the most value latex over any of the stuff that's sold specifically for nails. Alright. Now, top coat, I generally am not super careful or neat with. Um, I mean, ideally, you're still neat with it, but like in practice, if I get a little bit on my skin, it's not very noticeable because it's clear and it will wash off when I wash my hands once it's dry. So, unless I like flood my cuticles to the point where it would like 
leave a big old ridge or something like that, I generally just kind of top coat the fuck out of everything and worry about anything that's on my sidewalls later. Now, that's for a casual manicure. If I'm like doing a tutorial, sometimes I'll get more impatient and clean it up because I want to record my intros and outros without uh, without the messy bits, but generally we're just going plain. Oh, I like this a lot. It's a very big change from my last manicure, which was that dark purple, which is kind of fun sometimes to go. We had this on. Which was super pretty and super sparkly and ooh, we got some polish right there. I did not peep that earlier. Ooh, and the acetone is almost just okay. That's my shortest nail, so no wonder we have problems. So here we go with just like a little bit of acetone left in here. We just start like that, like it'll it'll settle in there, and then you can like move the acetone to the other side. And then you can wipe up some of the glitter. can even like clean up the sides some <laughs> and then before you know it we'll have like a semi cleaner dish the edges up here if you're wondering how in the hell do the edges up here get dirty it's if I'm in the middle of painting and I notice there's something on the brush I'll just wipe the brush on the edge of this so that's where ooh, I just got fuzz in there. That's fine. So yeah, every now and then I'll just go through. I, I got to show you guys that I'm cleaning it so that when you imagine it like next nail stream, you don't have to imagine it quite as filthy as it was, although it's still pretty dirty. Mm -mm -mm. Still a little bit of acetone. I'm gonna grab one more Q tip. See how much cleaner like the inside is though? And now we got almost all the rest of this blue glitter out of here. There. Yay, you guys. Your mere presence has held me accountable. And we now have a clean ass tumble. Cl clean. <laughs> and, like I said, dry to the touch, like pretty quickly. So, Seshvit is a miracle. obviously like disclaimer don't like take something sharp and like <laughs> like don't gouge directly on your nails but like if you need to go to bed or if you need to go to the bathroom or if you need to you know I don't know live your life without sitting waiting for your nails to dry like Seth Reed has your back <laughs> exactly the important part is clean the bottom and see okay it's like why do you have a little sponge stuck on your little dumb dish because it got stuck on there one day when the polish on the sponge was still wet and then i realized that it put the dish at a little angle so that all the acetone pools on that side and i just left it stuck there it's, it's innovative <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, scratch your cat. We could pet Beanie, except I won't because Beanie doesn't like the smell of nail polish and he will let you know that my nails are in fact not fully dry. Camera. 
camera. Yeah, it's definitely yellowier. Possibly not quite as actually reflective as the bottle. Actually, that look at the look at the middle nail. You can see some of the deeper hidden ones in there, but it gives that that vibe. But the other one that I almost went with. No, that's not it. Where is it? Is it you? Yeah, see this one also, if I, if this one had been a more yellowy metallic gold, maybe I'd have gone with this. This is, oh, I was right. Maria Luisa. And it looks like it's chonky, but it actually, whoa, is kind of toppery. It would, I think it would be a challenge to get this one opaque on the nail. That's, it's quite dense though. Like if you look at how much you pick up on the brush when you just like stick the brush in. It's denser than the than the gold and it's it's not a flaky exactly it's more of a camera camera Ca camera I wish it would focus so you could see the shape of the glitters like they're more consistent glitters whereas these little gold flecks are more irregular like flakies why why will you focus on that okay now you don't want to focus on that either Camera is being grumpy, but we're just about done. So, oh, I said I would maybe try some flashlight time just so we could see. I wonder if it'll be maybe a little bit more uh, like reflective metallic. Ah, uh, no, that's the one thing I feel like is different between in the bottle. Like you get that reflective kind of gold and the... Uh, like the 18k guilty is like almost not reflective at all. That's kind of interesting actually. Like it it's the one that's actually metal. How is it less reflective than whatever they've put in the bottle? I don't know. But I like it cuz like I said, I don't I don't have anything exactly like that to see and that, and and that's how your collection gets out of hand because you're like, well, obviously i need a gold flaky that's a slightly lighter gold but i mean i don't need that but i kind of want it <laughs> if you need to kill a little yeah simple little life hacks yeah i really like this Shout outs to Music Gal because she wanted me to use this last week. I hope she gets a chance to, to catch this VOD or at least maybe I'll take a picture and post it in Discord because this would be right up Music Gal's alley. Like this shade of green. She, like I said, I think Music Gal would have skipped Guilty. I think Music Gal would have gone straight up with, uh, what's this called? Rare Jade. I wonder if Music Gal might even have this. I don't know if she has Colors by LaRoe in her collection, but... Music Gal is like all about like the greens. Oh my god. I mean like Gedge sometimes it just happens. <laughs> yeah, like there's so many shades of gold and so many shades of like uh silver. Um where where is my live channel thing? That uh like I still like I have a silver from China Glaze or was it a gold? I don't remember. I saved the bottle. I t I tipped it over. I accidentally spilled it, and I was like, I need to actually replace this because it's perfect for stamping, and I don't have anything else in this tone that would stamp as well. Um, what what time are we wrapping up here? It's seven thirty. Um. I'm probably not going to be back tonight, but I will either today or tomorrow or maybe both. Oh man, I don't know. I, I wanted, I was, okay. We got a PB in 106 yesterday and I really, really was not thrilled with it. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. I, uh, just like I had no happy feelings 
and uh, it was lame. So I kind of want to replace it with a not lame PB, except that could be really hard to figure out. Um. Okay, you're using nail art tag, but I don't. No, wait, you're showing up under nail art tag, but I don't actually see the nail art tag on you, and you don't appear to be doing nail art. Okay, no. <laughs> I always try to remember to look and see if there's anybody else. The PB was a sad, sad PB. I haven't. I, I don't want to wait until as late as I did yesterday to eat Gidge. So I want to have a break for dinner, and then I don't know what time it's going to be when I finish that up. Um, okay, where are we? You know, I feel like it's been a really long time since I rated pancakes, and I don't know what's up with this Persona 3. I don't, I don't know about this game, but pancakes is a cool dude, and I don't usually get the opportunity to raid him, so I think we're gonna go over there. Of course, if you are new and you'd like to join my Discord, please feel free. There's the link. It's open to everybody. Uh, nails. Lots of nails. Uh, Hollow Knight help if you should happen to need that. It's a wonderful combination. Uh, food, animals, all the, all the things that a good Discord should have. Um, and yeah, I will be, um, it, it, I, I, it, I don't know. I want to wash my hair and I want to put in braids and I don't know how long that'll take or what day I want to do it. So that will somewhat depend what day I actually end up streaming, what day I decide to sit myself down and do that. Um, if you would like to simple little raid with me, you can drop the beanies or you can, uh, <laughs> get up with both. Um, you can, you can drop whatever emote you happen to have instead of the beanies if you don't have beanies. Or you can, you can drop another emote even if you have the beanies. Um, slim, tiny, tiny chance that I'm back later. Like, 10% chance. Like, I, I kind of don't want to rule it out, but I got started with the nails later than I thought, and it's already 7.30, and we'll see how I feel later. Of course, like I said, uh, Discord, announcements, live announcements, schedule, updates, <laughs> all those things. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm glad you enjoyed this simple little midweek manicure. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your evening, afternoon, or morning whatever time it is for you, wherever you happen to live. And I hope I'll see you guys next time. Mm. Holy Stop crap, here. the defense of this is ridiculous. To pay Yo, my simple little raid. How's it going, Colette? And of course, if you're in the future watching on Let's YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. Um, spare our lives. <laughs> um, How was subscribe your here on YouTube, or if you'd like to join me live, come follow at twitch.tv slash MSLP. I need to get some food. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as well. And uh, thanks for watching.